Hey everyone, welcome back to Harp and Guitar, People and Music. Thanks for joining me here for another episode of Whiskey's Blues Gumbo. This is the show where we take strange or interesting sounding blues words or phrases, stuff we hear in blues songs and we try to figure out, you know, what the heck are they talking about? And today is a special Halloween edition, because we're going to be talking about the term killing floor. Now, this term's come up most, probably most recognizably by my personal favorite overall bluesman, the Howlin' Wolf, Chester Burnett. He sings a song called Killing Floor. But prior to, prior to that in the, it's either, uh, I want to say it was late, late 20s or maybe very, very early 1930s, uh, Skip James, Naramiah Skip James, recorded a song called Hard Time Killing Floor Blues, which had very similar sort of context and sort of a creepy, somber sort of um, feeling to it. Um, but with that being said, we're talking about killing floor of the term and what that means and where these songs picked up this, this term or this phrase killing floor. Now, metaphorically, to be put out on the killing floor, to be put down on the killing floor, as Howlin' Wolf put it, you know, uh, is basically to be put, put down in the dumps, to be hit rock bottom, um, you know, to hit the lowest of the low. Right? You can't get any low. That's being put down on the killing floor. Now... What they're referring to in actuality with the killing floor is the real killing floor at a slaughterhouse, whether it's hogs or beef, whatever the case may be. Um, the killing floor was, was where they actually would put the bolt into the animal's head, pardon the, uh, you know, uh, the uh, graphic imagery. You know, it's a little graphic, but hey, it's Halloween. Come on now. Anyway. Uh, you know, this is where the animal would go to be slaughtered. And so if you worked on the killing floor, you were one of these guys that slaughtered uh, the animals, the cattle or the hogs or what have you. And it was definitely known to, very well known to be the worst job in the slaughterhouse. Nothing was worse than working on the killing floor. So basically you hit rock bottom if you had no choice but to get a job and the only job you could get was working in the slaughterhouse on the killing floor. And apparently a revolving door, not too many people worked years and years and years on the killing floor. It was a very uh, grueling, tough, uh, filthy job. And as you could well imagine, uh, it takes a certain sort of mentality to be able to uh, slaughter animals uh, on a production level type basis. You know, uh, hour after hour after hour, day in and day out. You know, especially back then when they didn't have as modern and humane methods as we do now. So it was definitely the worst job in the slaughterhouse, and it was definitely one of the worst jobs ever. So you didn't want to be put down on the killing floor. In other words, you didn't want, uh, you know, your your lover or your wife or somebody in your family to do you wrong. To put you out so that you hit rock bottom and you and also you know if you were out of work you you know out of sheer desperation you still didn't want to end up working on that killing floor so there you go that uh, should uh, cover it here for the term killing floor uh, as mentioned uh, very familiar made made popular by the Howlin' Wolf also Skip James and again others mentioned the killing floor uh, so thank you very much for tuning in and joining me here for another episode of Whiskey's Blues Gumbo, the creepy Halloween edition talking about killing floor. And uh, on behalf of myself and my partner in crime here, Monk Music, uh, please do all the YouTube stuff and let us know down below if you've come across anything weird or unusual in blues lyrics and you want to know what the heck they're talking about. I'd be more than happy to look into it. So until next time, take care. Happy Halloween, and we'll see you again real soon. Cheers. Bye. Ooh.